So what happens in Humberger phenomenon or chloride shift? Look, we know that carbonic anhydrase is present in RBC. Okay. So carbonic, what will carbonic anhydrase do? It will fuse H2FCO2 into carbonic acid H2CO3. And the CO2 is coming from plasma. CO2 is coming from plasma. After forming carbonic anhydrase, potassium hemoglobin or hemo potassium attached to hemoglobin would attach with it and the reaction would occur like this. Reduced hemoglobin would be formed and potassium bicarbonate would be formed. Now, again, chlorine from plasma would be shifted to RBC. That's why it is known as chloride shift and it would help to form potassium chloride here in RBC and the HCO3- or bicarbonate ion would go back to fuse with sodium ion and would form sodium bicarbonate. So what happens? CO2 is going in towards RBC and bicarbonate, sodium bicarbonate is formed in the plasma. So this is a strange phenomenon known as chloride shift or Humberger phenomenon. This is occurring because carbonic anhydrase is predominant in RBC. That's why CO2 must go to the RBC in order to form carbonic acid and then it can form sodium bicarbonate. <coughs> there is no chlorine inside the RBC. So chlorine should be shifted towards RBC and there, uh, there is also no sodium ions. So bicarbonate should be fused with the sodium ion present in plasma to form sodium bicarbonate. This is known as chloride shift in CO2 transport. Okay.